MakerBot is turning consumers into makers. It empowers people to learn all about manufacturing and participating. So Brie, here we are in the MakerBot retail store, the very first of its kind in downtown Manhattan. Can you just tell us first what MakerBot is all about? A MakerBot is a 3D printer, which is a machine that makes you things. And engineers, industrial designers, and people who love to make things get this. It's a machine you can use to fix things around the house, or if you're an entrepreneur, you can build the next greatest thing and prototype it on a MakerBot. You guys have sold 15,000 of these so far, which is really cool. It's an amazing tool, but it does seem like it's kind of a, a niche hacker, maker, DIY sort of thing. Is, it, is the idea of this retail store that this is how you bring it to the, to the mainstream? Computers were once niche, right. but now they're not. We all have one in our pocket. Part of the reason we had to do a retail store is because when you tell people, you know, oh, I have a replicator, they think, oh, that's science fiction. But you can come into the MakerBot store, you can see them, touch them, smell them, feel the kind of things that a MakerBot makes, and then you really get it and you see what's going on. Home publishing got people into the idea that they could make documents themselves. Home 3D printing gets people into the idea that they can become manufacturers themselves. Right. I've always thought that MakerBot was sort of like a really early Apple, you know, Apple in 1978, you guys were building the first really accessible 3D printer. It's expensive and it's only for hobbyists maybe for now, but maybe it's going to explode. And I think I see this as kind of like the first Apple store. And I wonder if, if you see it the same way, if you plan to have a MakerBot retail outlet in every major city. Yep. Just like Apple, they had to start with one store and then they replicated it. So we're starting with one store. Bam! Then we'll replicate it. Do you see the 3D printing as going beyond that? I mean, do you, do you see it as like a true utility or something that is going to produce important functional objects too? Our customer list includes NASA, GE, and other big companies that are designing the technology of the future, and they're using MakerBots to do it. But you can also just be a person who loves to make things. Then you become in charge of the manufacturing process, and you can make the things you need. Thank you.